is the head of the unit of Siddha medicine at the University of Jaffna. She has, I mean, if I want to read her qualification, it's going to take another 15 minutes. So I'm going to be very brief. She's basically a, a practitioner. She did a MD, a doctor of medicine from Tamil Nadu, India, from the Dr. MGR Medical University. In um, She finished, I think, in 2001. Uh, so Guna, Guna Padam Siddha Pharmacology, she's an expert. And uh, please uh, welcome uh, Dr. Mrs. Vivian Satyaseelan, a very distinguished uh, professor. She's going to give us an introduction and overview of traditional medicine. Uh, he has 20 minutes to go. Here we go, Professor Vivian Satyaseelan. Good evening all of you. I am Dr. Vivian Satyasilan speaking. I am a former head. Now I am a senior lecturer attached to the unit of Siddha Medicine. I did my uh, Doctor of Medicine in you know, Dr. MGR Medical University, Tamil Nadu, Chennai. Uh, my specialized field is uh, pharmacology, regard, uh, especially regarding the medicinal plants and the pharmaceutical, uh, pharmaceutical section and pharmacy section. Uh, Doctor, uh, I'm going to interrupt. Is it possible to see you, your face? Anyway, you can continue. Yes, uh, the unit of Siddha medicine is functioning under the University of Jaffna in Sri Lanka nearly about more than 34 years as a unit, but uh, the, it's a one of the indigenous system of medicine. Sri Lanka has indigenous system, Ayurveda, Siddha and Yunani and traditional system of medicine. Ayurveda especially followed by the uh, singular speaking people and Yunani especially followed by Muslims and uh, Siddha section commonly followed by uh, Tamil people. Uh, the indigenous, uh, the especially the Siddha traditional system, there's no side effects mainly used uh, by the uh, drugs used uh, by uh, medicinal plants, secondary minerals, arsenic compounds, uh, and uh, other natural uh, sources commonly used for the preparation of drugs. The internal as well as the external therapy we have, the same priority will be given to the internal as well as the external uh, medicine. Nowadays, the globally, uh, is a trend uh, to utilize the medicinal plants. Uh, the, so many researchers, uh, the, our academic staff have done so, so many researches regarding the medicinal plants and other minerals, metals, and uh, drugs processing. Uh, so now, uh, the, uh, now it, the, nowadays, the COVID-19 is going on. The in uh, regarding the uh, during this period also our northern province uh, try to give the uh, some herbal decoctions to the uh, quarantine area people also so thank you the philosophy of the body and diseases according to the siddhas tamil so Dravi dravidan medicine copes with the normal uh, routine lifestyle food pattern climatic changes of the folks, hence the traditional system that is practiced in north and eastern parts of the country simply goes with Siddha medicine. This is the Yake Nilakanam or the Prakriti, genomic of human body. Yake is combination of the personality, physical, mental, spiritual well-being of an individual in disease condition the body can change but the yake or prakriti or personality will not change the, the genetic coding of the body variation in the food stimulated doshas the three important doshas are vada pitta and kama affects combining of sperms that is suklam and also in the eggs that's called suronidam formation of yake prakriti this form the Vada Tehi, Pitta Tehi and Kaba Tehi. These are the three important personalities. The, especially the nucleus of our Siddha medicine. It's the, 
the puncture to the colchon. That is the theory of five ailments. The the basic codes mentioned under the Lullade Pindam, Andamum Pindamum Onredan, Arindudan, Parkum Pude. It means man is the epitome of the universe. It mentioned in the Sharaka Shamkita. Human beings are considered as the superior to the living organisms. Human body is a combination of Panchapuda, the earth, water, fire, air, and sky. The important part of the body is that the muscles, hair, skin, bones, and nerves are under the Prudvi. That is earth, urine, sperm, blood, fat, and bone marrow under the water. Uh, uh, Laziness, sleep, sight, prone under the fire. Running, sitting, walking, lying, these are the activities, especially under the air or vayu. Desires, rivalry, intimacy, clinging the, under the sky. These are the five Panchabuddha components. It's a functional unit of our body also. The main theory of the five ailments, the 24 tattvas, the philosophies of the body, acting against the nature, diseases caused. Vigorously acting, one part affects the area, contagious diseases, cholinosial, that is the epidemic diseases that comes out. When it's packed to Prabancham globally, the contagious diseases and natural gazards also they are, especially in the Hindus, the religious, cremate the death corpus, dissolve the ashes of the corpses in Ganga Jalam. It has a deep philosophical truth. Body is considered to be a Panchapuda combination. Burning by Agni, fire, and submitting the Buddhas, where they come from in what done by dissolving in water. Because Hindus consider that weir, soul, is created by water. The, another one is Ojas. That is the immunity of the body against diseases. It's a very... Uh, important nucleus in the therapeutic aspect of Siddha medicine. It is responsible for natural immunity against diseases and resistant to decay the degeneration of the human organisms. Or just when deficient leads to increased susceptibility to diseases. It resists diseases manifestation in two ways. The one, one is acts against the strength and virulences of the diseases. Number two, capacity to inhibit, fix or bind diseases causing factors, pathogens. It contributes for the strength, that is, it is in Tamil it is called pelam, of an individual by intrinsic state of resistance or state of immunity influenced by seasons or age of an individual or artificially induced by ration, rational means. The contagious diseases and ojas, ojas is the immunity power of the body. When the ojas is de-arranged, certain types of affections, fevers like smallpox, diseases like tuberculosis or conjunctivitis, uh, Sharakar identified epidemics of diseases due to contaminated food, polluted water and air. Adarva Vedam, pets to be carriers of diseases. Recent years, the viral diseases increased than the bacterial diseases. They have higher probability to contagious spreading. Example, COVID-19, like viral diseases and their virulency differs place to place. While the death rate is increased in USA, India, etc., the mortality and morbidity rate due to corona in Sri Lanka, comparatively less so ignorable. It is because of the immunity due to food patterns and lifestyle of the folks in Sri Lanka increased the ojas or immunity power of the body. The daily regimen. That is the, especially mentioned in Siddha, Kala Ulukkam. Daily activities of an individual. Early rising is a very important first thing. The early morning gets up from the bed at about 5 a.m. Regular bowel movements, uh, brushing the teeth used by the twigs, especially the Acacia Indica, uh, Acidirecta Indica, uh, the, some kind of plants. 
uh, phytus, bengalensis sticks are commonly used as a toothbrush, Salvodera persica. It's in English, it is called toothbrush tree also. Oil bait and hair oil applications. These are the healthy sleep. Practice yoga. Yoga is a, in Siddha, it is mentioned as a yoga therapy. It's a special medicine. Uh, mentioned in Siddha system of medicine. Yes, Dr. Vivian, please. Yeah. Your, yeah. Dr. Vivian, we can't. Yes, I'm here. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. The slide slide has not changed. Yes, has not. Okay, okay. The, the, the seasonal variations that is mentioned in Siddha and Tamil, Parva Kalangal, diets according to the doshas and taste, the uh, Kalangal, that's uh, riches, the seasonal variations, uh, Vasanda Rudu, Grishma Rudu, these are the, to all together, the 12 months are divi divided, two months Altogether, six uh, seasonal variations are there. Uh, the, that is called in Rudu and the mention in months, April, May. The dosha changes, kaba, and dominating tastes. According to that only, we have to take the diets and our behaviors, especially the Asanda Rudus in April, May. Uh, kaba, that's white eater, increased kaba. So, bitter, pungent, and astringent taste dominated dryness and heat so the, these are the changes in the body according to the seasonal variations non suppression of natural urges it is another important method 14 types of natural urges or reflexes that should not be suppr suppressed or such urges are said to produce injuries effects in the body first is urine the painful menstruation stool abdominal distension and headache semen malaise cardiac pain flatus abdominal discomfort vomit anorexia or skin diseases zinnies weakness of the sense organs irritation dyspnea joining the convulsions or tremor hunger anorexia or giddiness Thirst, burning urine, uh, burning uh, dysuria or cardiac pain, tears, rhinitis or eye disorders, sleep, drowsiness or headache, breathing, headache or cardiac disorders, tired body, lethargy. These are the 14 urges. Never suppress these urges. It's a preventive method of treatment which are mentioned in the system of medicine. Prevention is better than cure. It's a very important uh, focus in our Siddha system of medicine. Siddha or Tamil medicine inspires prevention of diseases other than curing system, curing them. So it provides the special medicine or therapy as a life-saving aid. It includes Sodhana Karma. That's a cleansing the body the, as a purgation, so vomiter. These are the drugs we are used for the cleansing the body, pura marathon, that is the external therapy, uh, especially in the tokanam means uh, massage or the vedu, perspiration therapies. Another important preventive method of treatment is yoga. Another one is the medication. Another important external therapy is verma, especially the important verma points we have in, in our body, we have important verma points we have stimulated stimulate and relaxation for the some kind of diseases it's an external medicine another important therapy is kai helper that's the rejuvenating medicine kai helper medicine we have the medicinal plants secondary medicines arsenic compounds those are consists of this kai helper or rejuvenating action so this includes all the uh, things based on the prevention is better than cure Sodhana karma means cleansing the body, mode of treatment, cleansing the body and removal of 
white hated vada pitta kaba these are the important three humors in our body that have spread in the system cleansing that's mean evacuation evacuation of that is the for the main purpose is vamanam emesis white hated kabam virechanam which are using especially as a action of purgation or purgative uh, in the condition of white hated pitta pittam vasti means uh, decoction or antas enema white hated vada nasiya nasal inhalations dosha affecting especially in the head and neck tokana seeche and the important uh, nowadays it is a very demand of this treatment especially for the uh, neurological disorders and uh, affected in the locomotor system also tokana seeche massage therapy and ved pidital that is sedation therapy indication clinical condition pain in the joints in, the, in the, especially in the locomotor system muscles or stiffness of the joints or sprains tokana means it's a uh, render something unconscious oily or too annoying to or massage to massage the body is understood by the term tokana oliation procedures in siddha it is called oliation procedures apiyangam and the and okay the in the apiyangam especially used in the obesity and kabal disorders by dry rubbing with medicated powders herbal powders especially uh, apiyangam soothes the nerves and stimulate the circulation regularize the circulation in the blood uh, within the blood vessels and penetrating the medicated oil through the uh, skin and uh, uh, its excreted materials also comes out during the uh, therapy tokana seeche that is the massage therapy uh, indicate uh, these are already i mentioned these are the process we are the method of massaging oil applications the you know, the following pictures zoom the way the pedital is sudation therapy to induce perspiration it relieves stiffness of the joint movements heaviness and coldness of the body induce warmth that's a way the pedital also one type of external therapy these are the instruments we are using yoga yoga it is it is a one of the ashtanga yoga ashtanga yoga is eight varieties of yogas we have in our in the system of medicine uh, yoga is the one of the ashtanga yogas yoga consists of uh, restraining the mind from manifesting various modes of thoughts yoga must uh, the, it is a uh, important therapy especially in the spiritual well being the control of sense organs to overcome indiscriminate contact with their sense objects which are not conduct uh, conducive should be the essential and primary approach the effort should hand in hand with a great attraction towards the supreme bills yoga asanas especially in nirav that is siddha in sister uh, in siddha system it is called madhubaham in western it is diabetic mellitus Uh, the the these uh, the following asanas especially stimulate the pancreas and uh, to increase the secretion of uh, insulin to control the blood sugar uh, the important asanas uh, will be shown the another important therapy is meditation that it uh, in siddha it is called dhyanam it is uh, refining and uh, transcending the mind to a higher level of consciousness according to the charagar is so charagar is a, one of our siddha uh, the sage knowing i am not this and this is not mine transcends everything the charagar says so the self is indefinite indefinite for the very uh, reset that is uh, omnipresent and supreme 
though tyanam uh, through tyanam one is able to perceive even the evil the it inhibits the negative uh, tendencies of uh, rajot and tamo kunas we have the three varieties of characters kunas tamo rajo and sadvika kunas and enhances the capacity capability of sadva mind to be self referral creative and attaining higher level of consciousness especially sadva uh, una uh, especially the siddhas have uh, another important therapy it is a special kind of treatment a specific treatment which i mentioned in siddha it's a verma uh, verma treatment is an external therapy in siddha system of medicine it is purely anatomical and is introduced by siddhas for the humans will be the the total number of verma points is said to have 180 number in the body verma is an eminent external treatment which is a branch of siddha medicine as a specific special therapy of siddha medicine in the ancient times people were free from diseases because they practiced uh, the way of living with the natural sources of them nowadays with the advancement of uh, technology and several other factors caused uh, increase uh, the, so or the the no, it, it rise up the in, uh, communicable diseases traditional way of life maintained by our ancestors vanished from the society in the name of modernization it is need of time to reintroduce the lifestyle and food patterns etc for the well being of the future generation thank you very much thank you very much professor uh, dr kesivan that was an awesome amazing uh, presentation reminding all of us that you know we have so much treasure among ourselves we have a tendency always uh, you know we need the westerners to tell us what we have and then we will recognize instead of that i think it's time we do search into our own treasure yes, on our sure, backyard sir. and you brought up a very very important point the lifestyle even in western medicine we first emphasize on lifestyle changes for any diseases i think we have forgotten many things uh, many good things uh, you know our culture has taught us and uh, one great uh, uh, siddha a tamil siddha called tirumular and uh, tirumandiram should be read by everyone and unfortunately that's been uh, branded as a devotional script but that is one of the best siddha scripts we have available in uh, tamil with that note let me thank again uh, professor dr vivian satyasilan let's move